Welcome back to the Bar Sooners. This week's scare report is on Brighton Starlet, Jason Malumbi. And the Waterford man uh, has impressed in his two appearances so far in the League Cup. He's only 18 years old, but he played the 120 minutes um, that Brighton were in the League Cup against Barnet and eventually when they got knocked out against Bournemouth. Um, Nick, you're a big fan of Jason Malumbi. Um, what is it about him that really sets him out from the pack? Yeah, I think um, kind of box to box midfielders are um, kind of a dying breed in football at the moment, and he certainly is that. You know, he can play a bit in the engine room, and he can also get forward. Um, you know, I think he's more of a central midfielder, but can play in that little bit more of an advanced role. Mm. Um, I think the more guys we have in a in a Premier League, well, around a Premier League first team, the better. I think he played beside uh, Desi Hutchison, uh, another Irish guy, also from Waterford. Waterford as well. Um, so you know it's really positive. Again, an exciting kind of player, good technical player. I think we're we're lacking a few kind of Irish born technically yeah. uh, gifted players. So again, it's it's positive to see him coming through and uh, you know having Chris Hutton in charge of him is a good thing as well. He's gonna hopefully look after some of the Irish yeah. boys. Yeah. Um if you could compare Jason Malumbi, having watched him for those who haven't, who would you compare him to maybe within the Ireland setup at the moment? Yeah, yeah. And the wider football kind of yeah, like, history. Uh, yeah, in, in the Irish setup I suppose you'd be looking at someone like Harry Arthur, um, that kind of box to box energetic midfielder. Yeah. A little bit more pace I think than Arthur, maybe a little bit more mobile, but he's got that kind of um, ability to play um, a slightly deeper role and a more advanced role. So yeah. if I was compare, to compare him to a player in the Irish squad, it would be, it'd be, uh, it'd be Arthur. Right? For those of you who haven't seen online, there is little clips of, of, of him playing. I've only seen clips myself, to be honest with you. And just, he he was key when he played for the Brighton first team. They played Barnet in the um, you know the League Cup or whatever it's called these days. And they, he plays a lovely through ball and then there's kind of highlights of him online playing for Ireland. Um, at the youth setup, and he's playing some some really nice football, and that's that could be kind of what we're missing um, in young players. As you said, young Irish-born technical players yeah. are kind of a, a rare breed um, these days. So, or well, maybe they're not. Maybe they're just not getting the opportunities. But yeah, he uh, yeah he seems to be kind of he he, he fit in very well, um, kind of control the midfield for Ireland. And um, do you foresee him breaking into the Ireland team at any point? Uh, well, like given our lack of. Uh uh, I suppose the lack of the tendency boarded that pretty badly, but uh, to to bring kind of young guys through quite early. To build them in, yeah. Yeah, like we could be waiting until he's about twenty seven or twenty eight. Like, yeah. Uh, look, hopefully, um, hopefully O'Neill, um, well, hopefully he gets a bit of game time first. Yeah. of all. he has to get into the into the Brighton side in the league first. First of all, and then if O'Neill um, watches him play again, similar to Declan Rice, you, you hope that. Despite these guys' ages, that they can maybe bypass the twenty ones and come into come into the Irish setup if they're good enough. At the moment, he's still quite raw, though. So I reckon uh, the twenty ones for the main time. Exactly. Dead. So we will be back next week. That's all about Jason. We won't be as I was just said. Uh, we'll be back next week with another scare report. This time on Conor Ronan. So we shall see you there and see you then. I don't know why I said that.